Hi, I'm technology Laura, and today I'm going to talk to you about Pear Deck Flashcard Factory. So let's begin. First, you want to go to PearDeck.com and then log in with your teacher account, either your Google or Microsoft. Next, you want to click on Flashcard Factory. Depending on how many terms you want your students to learn that week, you will type in that number. For example, since I teach Spanish, I type the Spanish word first and then I allow my students when they're interacting on Flashcard Factory to actually translate for the definition. If you're teaching other academic contexts, you can type in your word. For example, I'll use rectangle. And then you want to click over here on the definitions tab and that will auto populate definitions that you can use. So that allows you as the teacher to work smarter not harder and then you add another term i also like to add free choice because that really allows my students to be creative and original when they are using flashcard factory so say we only want three words for the week then we're going to click on play flashcard factory and start game so on your smart board you will have this website up and another quick tip is to have your students bookmark join pd that website does not change but the code right here will always change so then your students are going to be logging in then your students will be divided into two groups night shift and day shift so let's clock in so our students would be on the night shift and day shift and then they're going to be in pairs. One student will draw the term and the other student will write the definition. So this is really awesome for teamwork, collaboration, because every student is participating. I also think that visual learners really enjoy using Flashcard Factory because that gives them opportunities to draw the word and so that's really powerful to see. So you will say let's play. And then your students are going to be making cards based off the vocabulary. And then when you go to quality control, you as a teacher, or you can have a student lead the class and either accept or reject the card. So that's a really good teachable moment for you to accept the card if both the word, definition, and picture go together. If it is incorrect, then you want to reject that term. And that's where you can talk about what is incorrect or spelled wrong or there's a picture that doesn't accurately depict the word. So the best part is you have really a couple options. One, you could print the set of the vocabulary term as a PDF and give out actual vocab terms and flashcards for your students to use to study. Or a favorite of mine and my students is export and you can export to Google Classroom, or you can export to GimKit Live. And so my students absolutely love to see their cards, which are all student created, being played live on GimKit. Be sure to like, subscribe this video. Thanks for watching.